Welcome to Papa John's, how can I help you? Right lads, we're here at Papa John's. The challenge is simple. Best pizza wins. Let's go. Bro, I am flying. <laughs> Our diet's pretty strict whilst we're in camp. We're very fortunate we've got a chef with us that cooks pretty good food all the time and it makes it easy to make good options and good choices with what, you, what you're eating. You haven't crossed your fingers. No, it's, oh, it's a different technique I learned in uh, Spain. Spain, the, the home of pizzas. <laughs> the home, the, the home of pizza. It's a Spanish pizza. I like the food in camp. It's good stuff. I take full advantage of it. So, 160 kilos. Keep stretching it out, and it keeps coming back in. But that's that's more. typical with a Spanish pizza. So, <laughs> we'll have more carbohydrates, I guess, towards the game. And then when we're training, if we have a tough training day, we'll have more kind of pastas and, and carbohydrates and proteins and stuff. Uh, the night after a game is probably the one time that you can treat yourself a little bit more. So something like a pizza or, or a takeaway is always a nice little treat because um, you're pretty tired and you just want to get the calories in really. That's the, the key thing post game. Always the same, yeah. I'd like to go for some food that I don't usually have during the week. So sometimes Italian, Chinese, Indian. I'm just going to flatten it out. <laughs> Mine looks like it's been in Benidorm for 40 years. <laughs> uh, very wrinkly. <laughs> It's a wrinkly pizza. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> no, I like mine upside down. Yeah. He's having what we call in the industry a meltdown. <laughs> what do I like to eat before a match? No red meat. Day before. What do I eat? Pasta, like a carb heavy dish. Yeah, pizza. Anything carb heavy, really, because I don't like eating on game day. In the zone here. Do you want to make any more mess? Quick. Before it shrinks. I got a pizza oven in lockdown, so I had quite a lot of practice at eating pizza. It wasn't very good. Sorry, I'm not bringing myself up. Yeah, he's one of them, like, all the gear, no yeah. idea. Can we get some help for Hazy? Uh, by home. the way, guys, he said uh, yeah, he got a pizza <laughs> oven in lockdown. <laughs> not only has he put the pizza on the wrong side of the... Oh. Which is a rookie error for you anyone. Get it, right? so I I he's also looks like he's made a cookie dough as opposed to the pizza <laughs> made. But yeah, you carry on. The pizza chef, the pizza connoisseur, carry on. Do you not do any of the throwing overhead stuff? Yeah, go on. Give it a go, come on. Yeah, use your head, that'll help. That'll stretch it. Whoa, yeah. that's actually that's impressive. That. It's gone quite oval. It looks like a rugby ball and it's quite thick. Night before a game, I tend to try and load up on carbs, um, eat a uh, spag bowl or carbonara or something like that. Um, and then if I'm feeling lucky, then I'll chuck some garlic bread in there as well. Uh, my pizza is called Spice Up Your Life. It's a Spanish pizza. Post game, straight in the changing rooms afterwards, you, you can get a variety of things, but quite often there is pizzas going around and a few chicken nuggets as well, which is always a nice little win. Because I had loads of caffeine and stuff, I, I struggle to eat loads, but I'll go straight in for goujons and anything I can dip in mayonnaise, really. Jalapenos. Oh, they're quite a bit hotter than Spanish <laughs> jalapenos. <laughs> a bit of cheese next. And then what I'm going to do is just add the secret ingredient, which is more yeah. cheese. So my pizza's called Jack's Meat Stack. I find they eat like a lot more, like more salad on their plate. Not even like stereotyping, but they eat a lot more veg than I would typically. If like we have meat, potatoes and veg, like I'd be a load of potatoes. Same amount of meat, like protein wise, but they'd eat way more of the veg, I'd say. Fiber. And then this, this is the final Whoa. special cheese. Voila. I've added a bit of the secret sauce, um, just garlic sauce. Didn't realise that was available, but Genji pulled out the, the back pocket, so I've joined them. This is Papa Joe's pizza. So you get these things called chocolate biscuits. They've been going for a few years. They're decent, you get them day before a game. So match day minus one it's called. Are you chilli up? It's a little bit of chilies. Looks great. As it goes, I'm allergic to whatever you've got on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the anchovy was not a good idea. Like where you have most of the fun, like after you've had a hard day of graph, we go out for a team meal. So like a restaurant. So 
yeah, I think a lot of good conversations happen around the dinner table. Joe, sorry mate, in third is yours. You're alright mate, no worries. Bit of a car crash and I don't like anchovies, so you're not winning with me. <laughs> Should have mentioned that probably before I bought <laughs> anchovies. <laughs> that's cool, yeah. that's cool. Between these two, at least yours tasted better. I'm going to give you that. Oh. I like the flavours in it. I like the sauces you put on it. I don't want to win now, you said that. But, but, but it's a butt, mate. Like it's a butt. In terms of a better overall pizza, better made, better slapped, better topped, it's all yours, guys. Definitely it's the a best bit of sweet victory, to be honest. So, you know, it's, 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 you it's essentially, this was a date. You came better dressed, but you had a terrible, <laughs> a terrible, terrible <laughs> personality. <laughs>